welcome back to the channel and in this installment we're going to be repairing the threads um, to the anti-roll bar and as you can see there I've just removed the bolt but it's just not holding it so I was told on the forums to use a heli coil never used one before but I've been told they are successful so fingers crossed if not I'm gonna to have to try and tap it again and use the bigger bolt but I really don't want to do that so fingers crossed I haven't got a tripod I wish I had but I've moved garages and um, well this is going to be bit by bit. This is the kit and as you can see I'm just you've got the drill and then you've got to tap the hole using the special attachment or the, it must be a certain size. Again I'll put some cutting paste on there and then you've got the helicoil, coil, heli coil um, and then you just screw it in. I've been told just beneath the hole so it doesn't it's not protruding and then you knock it off or you use this tool there and then you knock it off the middle part with this so I'm just going to now fix the drill up and then make sure I can do this fix the drill up this is the attachment and if I just slowly what I've done is just move, removed the anti-roll bar mountain so you go there now you can see about the anti-roll bar I've just pushed it back basically just to get so I can get at it um, you can see there so I wish I could drill in as we do this but I want to keep it straight so I'll show you after so here I've drilled the hole out and then I just pan down and here we have the the top just there I've just lubricated it so now as I said I'm just gonna just slowly just cut into it and make it move out as you can see it's all the taps I've fed it or re, uh, repaired using the tap as you can see I've cleaned it, just put a little bit of cutting on, just make sure I've got, it's all okay, but it just seems, well, it just seems, at the moment, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. So now, I've got to put in, I'm just gonna take this out. Let's see there. Um, so, so far, so good. I don't know what size tap this is. It must be like a special one. I, I really do not know. But if it works, I will be really, really happy. So there, I'm just gonna try. I don't know if I can focus. You can probably see, see the thread. I can't really see. Um, no. Well, I'm just showing you now. That's what it looks like. And you can see, you can't get, will it go into focus? No, it's a rather focus on my oil can. I do that. Yeah, but you can see what I'm doing. Um, yeah, it's focused now. Just got a shaky hand. I'm going to blame it's cold in the garage, but it's not really up at the heat of one. But that's it there. You can see the tool. It says that you should use the tool with this spacer or centering tool. So you get it centering the hole. So here we go. It's in there now. You can't really see it. I can't really see but it's in there, so I've just put the coil in, so let's try new. I've just tried it, it does tighten up, so let's put the bracket back on and let's try and put it back together and see if it will hold. Being told, I've been watching videos and it's, it's proved to be a really good idea of doing this sort of drilling and tapping with a bigger bolt. I just want the bolts to match, that's another thing as well. So, okay, it's all about the detail. Eureka! Eureka! I can't believe it's actually worked and it's really tight, I've really tightened it, probably more than the torque setting but again it's poly bushed and I'm just amazed. Honestly, if you've got a damaged thread and you want to keep the, the, you know, the same bolt size, I would actually use a heli coil, a heli coil, I think it's heli coil. Um, it was expensive, it was £31. Um, but if I bought the metric, it was only about a tenner, 15 pounds at max. However, it's got the same correct bolt. I'm sure now, if, if, if there was another thread on the MGB um, broken, I can use that. But honestly, I'm over the moon. So bye for now. You learn something every day. Every day is a learning day. As you can see, this is part of the uh, suspension. This is what keeps the leaf spring. 
attached to the uh, rear differential and to the dampener, the shock absorber. You can just see there, this is how it connects. So all I'm going to do is just going to remove the rust. Um, as you can see, we just pan round. I'm just slowly priming, so you can just see there. Um, but all I'm trying to do at this point is just remove the rust and just make it to look, you know, make it look better. Um, and just remove the rust and just make sure that everything that's connected with the digger uh, differential, rear axle, whatever you want to call it, um, is looking in good shape. Right, okay, let's see what we can do with this baby. Well, that's stage one, that's with the wire brush on the grinder. And as you can see, it's got the majority of the rust off. And to be honest, you know, cleaning parts up like this, um, you know, it's zinc primer, because it's a bare, you know, metal surface. But, you know, it's, um, and you can see, it's cleaned up well. Um, it'd be silly to buy a new one. I think they're about £25 uh, each. I don't know. It's around about, I think I've seen them on the forums and on websites. But this is another one. And then I'll do, let's just hang it up there. Um, I'll zinc primer it. So um, you're going to see that now, actually. Again, this is part of the MG handbrake mechanism. Um, the other part um, I need to dig out, but that's just, you know, it's hard, the, the zinc or edge primer. Just put primer, people think I'm probably going mad putting two coats of primer on, but I'll just put the black on and I I might try and do this as I spray with holding the uh, camera with one hand and then spray and I don't have a tripod, I need a bite. Right, here we go. I'm looking through the lens. Let's see if I can actually hit the object. So you can see here, that's it. Port, and then not too much that should be enough that's all you need and yep yeah, that's fine let that dry for maybe half an hour there's no rush um, garbage doors open it's quite mild today um, there's no rush right now I'm going to tackle the differential um, stripping it down and then just taking more parts which can be recycled um, rubbing them down painting them and just basically, I'll get down to the bare, um, just the bare diff, I might actually remove it. But it just means that when you come to build it up, you, you click, you're putting it back together with all clean parts, new parts. It's just a wonderful thing to do, to work with clean parts. Okay, bye. And by magic, as you can see, all painted. This is the first coat of gloss black. Just looks a lot better. And if I just pan, can see that's the other side that's just given it I've just given it a light dusting of um, just normal grey primer um, so yeah just that's the way it is just looks a lot better all the rust off just it's all in the detail well as you can see this is a book first coat of black 